I want to talk about using fiber fused tape on seam and what compounds should be used to embed this tape. Keep in mind that tape is what is used to actually join the panels together. Every time you have an inside corner or a seam, you need to have tape on that seam to strengthen it. The compound is adhesive that holds the tape in place. So I'm going to just go over the best compound to embed fiber fused tape in. This compound is an all-purpose ready mix compound. It's what is called the heavyweight compound. It's not a lightweight or a midweight. This was one of the original types of an air drying ready mix compound out there. It's a compound that is most often used to embed tape, whether it's fiberglass, whether it's uh, fiber fused or paper tape. This is a great compound to embed the tape in. And it's actually preferred because it's a little bit stronger than other types of all purpose compounds. If a compound is labeled all purpose, it can be used for all the stages of taping. But for the best results, use the heavyweight all purpose compound. This compound here is what is called a lightweight compound. It's still an all purpose compound, so it could be used for embedding the tape as well as all your finish coats. But it doesn't have the same strength as the heavyweight compound. So this is not the compound of choice to embed fiber fused tape with. So what we have here is a heavyweight and a lightweight. There is a midweight compound that is quite common today because it is, it's got a lot of the strength of the heavyweight and some of the working characteristics of the, of the uh, lightweight compound. So the midweight is a pretty good alternative if you only want to have one compound on the job. A setting compound comes in dry form and it's mixed with water and the way it works is it sets up chemically. In other words, it doesn't have to be air dried in order to put another coat on. So it's a great compound for embedding any type of tape, particularly if the job site conditions aren't ideal. Like let's say you got a little too much humidity or a lower temperature or even if you're in a bit of a hurry and you want to get more than one coat of tape on this seam today. So that that's where a setting compound would come into play and it works great with all the tapes. I'm going to embed fiber fused tape on this seam and this inside corner in some regular all purpose compound. And I just want to show you how easy that is to do. You always do your seams first and inside corners last. I'm just centering the fiber fused tape along the seam. Then when I come to the end of a seam, I usually take my taping knife and I just hold it against the tape and pull it and it just cuts it right off. It embeds very easily because it doesn't actually stretch or absorb any moisture. So it's easy to embed in the compound nice and tight. It's actually fusing with the compound. It's not just laying on top of the compound. And because it's um, fused with the compound instead of laying on it, it dries a little quicker too. One of the problems you have with taping a seam is if, if, if it's done with paper tape, in four or five hours it really appears to be dry, but the compound behind that tape is not thoroughly dry, and then if, if you just go ahead and put your fill coat over the top of it, later on that's going to dry and shrink and you're going to have cracks. So the fiber fused tape is great because it dries faster because it dries right through the tape. So I've got it embedded on the seam, and this seam is already done, now I'm ready to apply the fiber fused into this inside corner. So just like when I tape the seam, I apply a nice layer of compound to each edge. It's important to put enough compound on so you don't have any dry spots. But as I'll demonstrate in a second, 
with a fiber fuse, having a dry spot is not nearly as big of an issue as it is with paper tape. Now the fiber fuse tape is creasable. It has a nice little uh, mark right down the center so it folds right along that mark and I simply put it right into the corner, right into the inside corner. Now for embedding the pipe fuse tape into the inside corner, I like to use an inside corner trowel. What it does is it pushes the tape in nice and tight into the corner and prevents any cutting through of the tape. And you, you don't have to just do it in one pass, you can do multiple passes till you're happy with how tight it is. And then you got a little bit of extra compound along this edge. I'm just going to take my taping knife and simply just smooth that out. And here again, I'm not, this taping knife is not going right into the inside corner. I'm simply feathering that edge out. Now, I mentioned a minute ago that if this has got a dry spot, like let's say I didn't put enough compound into that corner and I can actually see a little dry area. At this time I can take a little bit of compound, put it right on my knife and I can put it right into that corner and correct any of those problems right on the spot. If that were paper tape you wouldn't see that. It could actually turn into a little bit of a bubble later on during the taping process. Uh, right here I have a short butted seam. Um, I'm, I'm going to use a fiber fuse on this butted seam, but I get asked a lot, is fiber fuse good for butted seams? And the answer is yes, because it is extra strong. It's actually been tested to be stronger than paper tape. So I'm not hesitant to use it on butted seams. But it's interesting because when I first started incorporating fiber fuse into my taping, I was a little hesitant because it's a new product. Just like anything that you, you try, you got, you, sometimes you think it was a little bit of a risk. So what I did was I tried it on a couple of walls. And then I did a whole room. And I just kind of worked my way up because I was always getting positive results. And I worked my way up, so now I'm taping whole houses with the fiber fuse. And I'm not hesitant to even tape the butted seams. So just like any other seam, you apply the compound. Put your tape over it. and embed it nice and tight. Now a butted seam, particularly um, one above this doorway here, it's kind of, um, it's not a recess seam to start with. It's, you know, like your beveled edge seams, there's slight recess to accommodate the tape and the compound, but a butted seam, you don't have that. So automatically, you're starting out with a little bit of a bump just because of the thickness of the tape. Fiber fuse, because it's fused with the compound, it starts out as a little thinner bump, so it's gonna be easier to hide in the long run. I'm just going to do a little demonstration of how easy the fiber fuse is to embed. Let's say for some reason you haven't got enough compound on the wall. A lot of people who tape, for some reason sometimes they seem to have a fear of putting too much compound on. Um, so they put it on too thin or maybe it, it dries too quickly. So I'm just going to kind of replicate a poor job here. So I'm going to apply the compound and I'm going to leave some spaces and put it on too thin. And, I mean, that's kind of exaggerated, but something like that could actually happen. So I'm applying the tape right over that joint compound. And I'm just going to embed it. And you can see that there are dry spots. Now, if that were paper tape, those areas would be very difficult to actually get more compound behind them. But they also wouldn't be as obvious. And you may not even notice that there's no compound in this area until tomorrow or after you've applied the fill coat. 
But with a fiber fuse, if I make a mistake like that, I can fix it nice and easy. I'll just put a little compound on my taping knife, and I can just go over those dry spots. I'm going over it with a compound, applying a pretty good amount of pressure, forcing the actual compound through the fiber fuse mat and right into the drywall behind it. So it's an easy fix if you have any bubbles in your tape. 